what is your favorite and your least favorite part about coffee? Hmm. I guess the smell. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And my least favorite. I don't know. For me, it's the morning poop. It's the best and the worst part. Hi y'all, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni. Today I am joined by Natalia Finance. What are we doing today? We're gonna taste Graham Stephan's new coffee, so I'm very excited about this. Let's put it to the test. Let's do a refresh. Graham Stephan is a YouTuber who focuses in the personal finance sphere. He says, do not go to Starbucks, don't waste your money there, go home and make iced coffee. You will spend 20 cents on it. And that's where this beautiful invention came from. So he had this whole theory that you can save all this money, you know, if you invest it instead, how you can, you know, compound your money and all of that. So he made this a reality and he actually came up with a 20 cent iced coffee and we're gonna put that to the test. Well, I want to go through them. So what, what's, okay. what's the first one that we have? Okay. One of these bags is called Diamond Hands. Uh, second bag we have here is the Morning Drip. And of course, our final coffee is the 20 cent iced coffee. These come at different price points. I don't remember them right now, but we're gonna put them on the video. All right, how do you open this? Oh Beautiful. Gorgeous Your hands are probably nicer. Shall we? <laughs> Wait, is this supposed to be sexy? Shall we? What the heck? Hold on. You want me to try? <laughs> Maybe from the other side? Oh, Christ. Is that how you're supposed to open it? It should be. You got it? Gorgeous. You were like, it needed some... Uh, female touch. <laughs> so I ordered um, the ground, it was already ground, but if you were the one placing the order, you would probably get the beans. beans. I love my yeah. whole bean coffee. Okay. What are you getting from it? It smells like something I wouldn't like. <laughs> As someone who drinks coffee, like injected into my mm. veins. That's uh, why I came to your channel, to yeah. tell me if it's good or not. It smells nice, honestly. So I'm always hesitant about buying ground coffee because what happens in the bag, after it's ground, it's like releasing its aromas while it's in here. When you buy full beans, all of that beautiful flavor comes when you break it down. So because we're opening this fairly soon after buying it, it's a good call. Yeah, and they say that they grind it the day before it's shipped. That's amazing. So, you know, it's fresh. I, I want to describe it like one describes a wine, like medium to full bodied, um, Bitter notes, a little like chocolate it, in there. Is uh, it balanced and smooth? Is it balanced and smooth? <laughs> oh, dark roast. Literally. All right, you want to do this one. You open. I don't right. trust my dainty well, little I... fingers. Oh my God. Right? Like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, this is a little difficult. He really makes you work for this. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. <laughs> We're also going to save money on the gym membership. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, let's do diamond hands first. So there's um, like Ziploc thing so that you can easily close it back up. So it doesn't go bad, let's see. What are you getting? What are you getting in there? Oh, it's like, it's sweet, it's sweeter. Yeah? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see, no, no, no. trust your nose, like it works. We all have the same okay. noses. Definitely. Did, was the word brighter? Yeah. If, like floral, can I say that? Like floral? It, I'm a getting something. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, with, like with wine, it'll say, oh, in, oh, an, like, yeah. in an oak barrel <laughs> and um, with notes of cherry and um, plum, you know. I want these on here. This one now, the famous 20 cent iced coffee. Shall I drum roll? Medium roast. I don't know if I'll like this. Hold on, I gotta open it. Okay. Here, you can sniff first. It smells like a 
Look at her thing. <laughs> we need to... <laughs> it has a much less potent, um, like, scent profile. What does that mean? It, it's, like, less intense. Okay. Compared to the other two. All right. Um, more, like rounder there's like less with these two there, there were spikes and specific things i was i was smelling but this is much more round i think this one's my favorite smell but also i'm not like so much a coffee person sure yeah that would be the most mild i would say yeah, th this one's my favorite smell which one's your favorite smell so far i like this one um so it was one diamond hands yeah diamond hands mm -hmm. we have got ourselves um a pinot noir we have a cabernet sauvignon and then over here, I'm getting like Merlot, you know? I don't know where he's getting that from. <laughs> All right, let's, let's make them. Let's make some coffee. Straight hand, straight into the center. What does that mean? Boys pee, and like you direct it, but I can't use that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but direct it straight to the center, and then from then, move just your arm into li little teeny circles. Straight to the center, you've got this. And from then, yes. Like higher? Smaller circles. Smaller? Yes. Little baby ones. Like yeah. this? Yeah! Oh. So th this coats the, the outside of the, um, of the funnel. Oh. So this use cold and filtered water, brew. So like. But when you put it in the in the electric, when the plug-in one, uh -huh. it says use cold. Well, this is a little misleading. Because the, he assumes that nobody is gonna do this by hand. Well, it looks very strong. You don't want to put some more water. Normally, my uh, coffee, <laughs> you can see through it. No way. <laughs> I make coffee, and it's like. It's a black hole, literally. Oh yeah, you have like such talent with that. Like, <laughs> I can do the wine like this, but this is a little heavier. Sipping and twirling, you know? <laughs> uh, so eventually it's gonna be run clear, so we're getting there. That's the stuff. <laughs> so in theory, we should be tasting this without sugar so we get the most like true flavors of these. Um, okay, so let's just do that. You. So this is very hot, is it? It is very hot. You're welcome to blow on it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is very smooth. Is it the one that says smooth? No. It is. No way. It is. Okay. I'm impressed. <laughs> it didn't even touch my tongue. I'm scared. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that hot, actually. Oh, it's good. Like, no sugar? I'm impressed. It's really smooth. I think this with milk and sugar would be a really nice iced coffee. Solid. A solid choice. I'm curious to see what the others taste like, but not a bad start. I feel like this would be better iced. Like, I, you know, it's warm. My dear, everything is better iced. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy percent of flavor and tasting comes from your smell. Wait, so now you're getting it wet. So I'm wetting it. Yes. You don't want too much to drip. Ideally, nothing. What this is doing is blooming the mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. It's releasing the aromas. So you want it to start opening up those smells and flavors and all the good stuff. Okay. 
I know there's a whole technique. They're like articles about this, like the best way to brew your coffee. It's very dramatic. Oh, this one, it smells good. I go to sleep at night dreaming of my first sip of coffee in the morning. Sometimes I literally like, what if I brewed it now? What if I just had one sip? Sometimes I don't even drink coffee in the morning. That's ridiculous. Like I feel like maybe I have it maybe twice a week. What keeps you going? The, my drive is, I don't know, <laughs> just coming from the environment. Oh, she has internal drive. <laughs> what is that like? You know, in like wine tastings, they'll like bring you a palate cleanser between, we should do that. What would we use? I don't know, like Windex mm. or something. It's a Greek thing. <laughs> Aromas, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It tastes nice. I enjoy this. It's just too strong for me. That, is it how I brewed it? Or is it my fault or Graham's fault is what I'm asking? Um, no, it's probably just my fault that I don't like coffee that much. Oh, yeah. I need to put milk in this. This is more acidic. I'm getting like chocolate in there, toffee. Okay. These are like warmer, um, like warmer flavors in this. Like it leaves a very nice aftertaste, very smooth aftertaste. Remind me the price of this, price point? $10.99. The most expensive of the three? Yeah. Which is still like not that expensive no, for what it is. Not bad at all. I like this one. Yeah. This is my favorite so far. There's not a lot to say except it's like, it's good. All right, I'm ready for another. Let's do it. Oh. Here, here you go. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like 73 question yeah. style. The moment of truth. We're gonna move on to the famous 20 cent iced coffee. Are you ready for this? Yes! So we made this one iced because 20 cent iced coffee. All right. Let's Cheers. Try this out. Yeah, very light, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd totally drink this one too. Balanced, robust. Interesting. I would, I think balance is fairly accurate. I would say, yeah, this is the least complex of the three of them. Um, it's your standard iced coffee. Okay, for me, number one, diamond hands. Diamond hands. Yep. All right, we agree on number one. Absolutely. All right. Number two for me is 20 cent iced coffee. And sure. number three, morning drip. Okay. I feel like morning drip was like the most cardboardy. Uh. It, it doesn't mean it's not good. It's because uh. I just don't drink that much coffee. So I like the lighter. I'm putting morning drip second, 20 cent iced coffee last. I think, you know what? Morning drip at least had a point of view. <gasps> That's how I feel. 20 cent iced coffee, like I'm, I'm wanting a little more, just a little more substance there, you know? So you gotta pay a little more. Put your money where your <laughs> mouth is. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> yeah, you know, but for the money, for what it is, it's definitely worth it, I'd say, mm. if that's your type of thing that you like. You know what I want to know? What is Graham drinking? That's very interesting. Graham, are you drinking your own coffee or are you buying like La Colombe or something? Like what's going on He's over there? He's probably buying like the big like um, red one from Costco. Was it Folgers? <laughs> I think that. Folgers, the classic American cup. Graham, if you're watching this, let us know down below. Let us know what you're drinking because I am dying to know. It was so inspiring how you were you know, making the coffee and all of that. I wouldn't have done it that way. So thank you so much for showing me all of this and sharing it with me. Not only did Natalia bring the coffee, but she brought the flavor today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. If you have not already, please make sure to roast that like button, flambe it, set it on fire. Hit subscribe, tap on that notification bell. As always, my name is Yanni. And I'm Natalia. And thank you for watching flambe. 
cute. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs>